All right, welcome back everyone to the channel and another episode in the Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer zombie shooter thingy. So we'll just continue with the project. Uh, it is Friday night over here, so I had a few drinks. I just came from the pub. Also, I'm drinking beer in front of the computer. So excuse me if I make a lot of shitty, shitty mistakes. Uh, we have some um, we have some cleanup to do. I guess we got some comments. Also, I wanna I wanna remake some stuff or not remake, but I'm gonna go a specific route uh, because I, I got some better animations on all of the uh, uh, Black Friday sales. Whoops, why is he looking? Yeah, it's just me that messed around a little bit with the animations, but yours should be as usual. Uh, I got some uh, better animations, so for the gun, you can see this looks a little bit better than it did before. And we can sprint, and this is the normal movement, and then we have sprint. And then I'm gonna do so when I aim, um, I slow down. So. Yeah, because also I, I replayed Resident Evil 2 and uh, I just found, found the, the walking system and sprinting system annoying. So auto sprint or auto fast jog sprint goes faster. So we actually have some movement speed on this character, which is nicer. But you can see it looks a lot better now when I actually got got a real got some real animations I, I uh, on the Black Friday sale I think like the uh, pistol animation set pro and uh, some other pistol basic set, set was like 20 bucks or something 25 bucks so I just went ahead and got them uh, we need to fix those errors that's the first thing so what are those errors also if you're new to the channel welcome please like and subscribe uh, we got some errors. I have no idea what it was, so let's check. Uh, if you aren't getting those errors, it might be because you're not on, on the client. I'm playing on the client, as you can see. Uh, let's see. Okay, so whenever you get a bunch of errors, you can see that these access none are very common. Those are because we're referencing things that are there. So whenever you do that, you can you can usually find it out so pick up notifier with set item details from the master player character so it's probably the hud that's not existent here right so we need to add a is valid note for that as well so we should only do the check if is valid so you can usually solve the access non problem by just adding is valid nodes um did i remove the yep yeah. i just want to fix those problems so that we don't have them uh, a lot less now let's see event fade out fade out fade out so so the issue here is once again not the HUD, but the interaction, I guess. So, only fade out if it's valid. I guess it's not valid because we're destroying it. Uh, so we can't fade out. No. All right. Uh, let's just do here then. Is valid and grab the interaction that should solve most of those problems let's see bam, bam, bam. Nope. Uh, <clears throat> okay. It's returning. It's because we're deleting, I guess. Um, the something. 
Bum, bum, bum. Only do this. Mm. If it's valid here. UMG stuff is always annoying. I guess it's like, no, okay. Mm, even more now. Trying to read HUD. Trying to read master player character. Trying to read HUD. Trying to read master player character. Okay, so. Uh, where was it? Okay. Pop, 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 pop. Master player F. The blueprint is master player character. Set pickup notifier as ability. Where do we call it? Set pickup notifier. This is the only place we're actually calling it. It's it's annoying because I don't usually I don't record this video so often. So whenever I do, I forget stuff between videos. And also, I'm really not used to Unreal Engine Five. So one second, and let me search this properly, and I'll solve it, and I'll tell you how it's done. All right, I am back. I think I solved it. Oops. Um. So, issue. Uh, the function is called from the master item. Uh, when we leave the uh, blueprint, I think the issue was that this, these two lines, set pickup notifier visibility, uh, and this state was called on the other side of this. Um, so this was called after we removed the item to pick up and everything, which means that it couldn't execute. So because we already removed the player and all the references, so when we put them before. So we actually uh, hide the widget before we remove everything. Then it seems to be working. So just run over everything and you can see no errors. So that's good. Uh, let's also try equipping. I'm not sure if that's what's one uh, thing. Bum, bum, bum. Equipped. We can run around and no errors. Perfect. So that's part number one. Part number two is, um, I think, let's see uh, if I drag this one over here. No. Oh. Okay. So if I play with this one, when he, you can see that I am overlapping here on the client over here, on the top right. And when I am overlapping items, the other player sees it as well. And that's not optimal, uh, because it should only be shown to the person who's actually picking up items. So let's fix that. Um, that is in the master item also, right? Yeah. So. Uh, Here, bum 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 bum. Uh, how do we fix that? It's locally controlled. So let's see if that works. I'm not sure if it does, but save everything. Let's just see if that works. Don't crash. Ooh. Uh, am I having too many engines and stuff running right now? Let's see. I don't. Uh, why is everything lagging? Something happened. wants to me to install Windows 11 
and I really don't dare to do that. Uh, let me pause while this loads. Bum -ba -bum -ba -dum, there we go, back again. And uh, um, as you can see, it's now working. So it's locally controlled. It's a really good node to use whenever UMG, UMG stuff are annoying. Uh, so that seems to work. So uh, there, sold it. That was because of a comment. So thank you for noticing that mistake. And um, so from here on out in this video, I'm going to clean stuff up. Uh, it's for me. You have to decide which way you want to do it and how much you want to clean. But the thing, like when I started up this one again, I got confused by we, what we've done because I've done two separate solutions now uh, to explain to you. So you have to like decide which solution you want to go with if you want to keep stuff clean. Um, since I'm not doing this every day, um, I'm not going to remember, like I need to focus on making it as apparent as possible so that I can just jump in and uh, actually record tutorials whenever uh, without having to spending like one hour just recognizing my own code. Uh, so um, to do that, there is a couple of things that I want to clean up. The first one is in the uh, inventory logic, I guess. We're going to make this a little bit si simpler when we actually equip uh, input queue. Where is it? So I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Because um, we equip the weapon. First we press Q. We equip the weapon. Then we equip the weapon again. So we have a lot of functions here. And we play the montage, we set the current weapon, and when we set the current weapon, we also have more functions here. And so I'm, I might make this a little bit easier to just follow along with. Uh, but what I want to fix now is this in these unequip and, uh, or not the unequip, but in the equip stuff, I have a lot of code. And this. So as you remember, I showed you how to set up both blend space, if you want to use a blend space for your weapons, and just a simple animation sequence, if you want to blend an, a normal animation sequence with um, a normal animation sequence with your uh, uh, normal movement animations. So both of the solutions are fine. Uh, you can use both if you want to with the solution that I showed you how to set up before. It's obviously good if you have a limited amount of animations and maybe have one blend space for one item and just an animation for another item. In my own personal project, I do that for like when equipping two-handed weapons. When you have them on the shoulders, it's like that's just one animation, animation sequence. But for other weapons, I use, use anima uh, animation bl uh, blend spaces. But in this project, I'm just going to be going ahead with a gun just to keep things simple so that I can actually make these tutorials. So I'm just going to delete this logic. Uh, main weapon details, main weapon details. That means that I don't need this. Uh, so whenever we equip a main weapon, we're just going to do blend space. Uh, do, 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 do. So we need to set this blend space. Uh, I don't remember where it is. Equip. Equipment details. Cosmetic details. Equipment montage. Uh, weapon details? Is it in here? Okay, equip blend space. Aim. Equip blend space, yeah. So that's it. And you can use the blend animation if you want to. Uh, but I'm just going to do it like this main weapon details and equip secondary weapon same thing I'm just gonna delete 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 because this makes it a lot, lot easier for me to understand what I've done in the future so you have to excuse me 
but it's gonna be easy for you to follow along no matter what because it doesn't really make a difference in the in the grand scheme of the project and hopefully it should still work let's see also I need to sorry I I also need to reset because I was playing around with uh, I was looking at the animations before and I set I think I set the default ones to a rifle I'm just gonna be as unarmed which is the default one I have two now for some reason I think it's this one yeah so yep yeah, this works we have an easy jog we have a, a sprint which is a little bit more leaning uh, we pick up the gun uh, we equip the gun we have a run animation and we can sprint a little bit faster and now we need to set up the aiming for the gun as well but I showed you how to do that so actually it's not harder than in the uh, we just you just do it exactly as we did with the rifle in the aiming episode you have to set up different items uh, so it's just a way to easily set up new items that works uh, I probably have an issue with the gun right Uh, what happened? There we go. And I assigned blame spaces to, uh, to the gun as well. The running animation isn't really nice here. I'll, I'll fix that. So it's just I need to choose another animation. So it looks decent, but yeah, not very good. So yeah, just a quick video to fix things up uh, and we'll go from here. Uh, in the next video, I guess we'll start with the shooting. This I know this video is a little bit weird uh, because it's just fixing up some stuff. Um, but you have to decide some, some things by yourself. Um, it is going to get, get a bit complicated every now and then. Um, and I mean, I guess that's why a lot of YouTube tutorials out there are like half finished and stuff. Because as soon as you jump, end up in a problem, it's actually quite annoying to fix them. Um, but yeah, we'll keep going. I want I want to keep going in this one for for quite quite a long time, uh, because my own personal project is a uh, fantasy RPG basically. So so it's nice to actually do some shooting and and stuff as well. In a, every now and then. Anyway, uh, this is it for this video. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's any questions. Uh, and if you find bugs and stuff, just, just comment them and we'll, we'll fix them. No worries. Good, good. That's it for now. See you in the next one. Bye.